here is when the first black altar spawns. So a simple trick that you probably don't know um, is that I talked about it's every 48 seconds. The first one comes after that first dive. The second one comes after a dive as well. And what we do, as we call out, we just say, after dive, watch for alters. Just every dive, after alters. It doesn't line up perfectly. It's not always after dive. But it just gives people kind of that reminder, alters is coming, right? So we're looking out for it. We're not always looking out for it. Right, I think that was one of our issues at the beginning. We didn't know when it was coming, so we were always where people were looking. And when you're always looking around, you're just not, it's not ideal for doing DPS. Like, there's so many other things you have to look out for. So when you know, I guess, like, five, ten seconds in advance, Cape Alters is coming, you can look just for a little bit, and you can prep. Right, that was a fortunate alter right there. Five people are on it. Easy peasy. They're on their roll. Move orbs out of the way. Cleared it. Nice, right? Zero out of zero stacks. The thing about alters, things you have to know. Fair trade does not work with alters. That's why we don't recommend using fair trade because um, it just doesn't. It, you won't fill the gauge with fair trade on. Iframes, if you're using iframes on the altar, you will not fill the gauge. So we have to keep that, we have to keep that in mind when we um, keep that in mind when we were doing alters right on who we chose to select as altars so we actually have knuckle or shade shadow or um i usually we do like our lower dps but sometimes it's just who's the most mobile so we have we find out that mages are very good just the mages sias bishops um just teleport is nice teleport is the you know gets on it quick so that's why we have knuckle on there because shades backstep is amazing and so that's why we have them there. Just the most mobile classes to get there as soon as possible. And we want to have some sort of self-healing. We always want to have a bishop to put their fountain down, to put their heal down. Um, we have phantoms nearby to put their fountain and heal down as well. Getting these altars are huge. And you'll see later on in phase two that the orbs, ticks, are, and altars are not a great combination. But one of the things that is always guaranteed is, oh, I guess it's, it's guaranteed because of the stuns um, is that <clears throat> altar here. Black altar always comes up after that first dive of the second cycle. So one of the issues with that dash, that dive going left, and just one of the issues in general is that this altar is that teleport and then dash is going to come. Teleport's going to come next. And there's a chance that that altar, that you might dash over this black altar. So... It's kind of something that is unfortunate, which is why having 190k HP is nice, but it's something we, <clears throat> you just have to be conscious of and adjust accordingly. So in this instance, for example, you see, we didn't have this worry. Alters is on the left. He can dash him right, like normal. But for example, if the altar was on the right side, we may have that dash going left. So it just doesn't dash across the whole team, wipe them, and this allows us to clear that altar. It's just a nice thing to do. Something you have to adjust on the fly. So just be aware of that. But see, that worked out nicely. Altar to the left, dash to the right. Everything worked out perfectly. Blue hand here. 